G'day YouTube. This is just a bit of a brief look at the differences or the main differences between Linux Mint 19 and Linux Mint 19.1. So as you can see on the left hand side I've got Linux Mint 19 right here and in fact if I load up a bit of a terminal there on each of them you'll see that I've got Tara running on the left Linux Mint 19 and on the right when it decides to load there will be uh, Tessa which is Linux Mint 19.1. Now, straight off the bat, you might notice some of the big differences here is the uh, the redesign of the Cinnamon desktop environment. On the left side, we've got Cinnamon, uh, or sorry, yeah, Cinnamon 8.6, approximately there, and it's uh, it's actually quite an old, a bit of a Windows XPS kind of a setup there. It's uh, pretty much the same that it's been for the last 10 years. It hasn't really changed much on Linux Mint. But it's kind of a uh, evolutionary upgrade to see that we now have Linux Mint 19.1 on the right doing a bit of a Windows 10-esque sort of a uh, play about there through the Cinnamon desktop environment which comes as a default standard on the main version of Linux Mint 19.1. Now I must warn you that Linux Mint 19.1 is still in beta mode. In fact it's not even in beta mode, it's probably in alpha mode because it hasn't yet been released to the general public for testing but uh, I've managed to snap up a copy one way or another and I just thought I'd show you some of the difference here guys. Uh, what you'll also see is the file manager now at the moment uh, there's not a great deal of changes here so far that I can see we can see that it's got the, the uh, Nemo file system on both of them, pretty much the de facto standard for Cinnamon with the Nemo uh, file manager, uh, pretty much in line with the version of Cinnamon as well. So we've got the older version of Cinnamon, which is Nemo, and the newer version of Cinnamon, which is the Nemo file manager as well. So nothing too exciting there. Probably the biggest and most exciting changes that I keep talking about on my channel at the moment is the fact that we have a bit of a change here and if we are to uh, let's see if we can right click on here and open up a new window let's see go home we'll see that it decides to tell me that there's actually multiple windows open there so we've got a little two icon if you can see that down the bottom there and of course as per normal with anything windows you can hover over it and uh, see what's open. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty new, something I'm really excited to see really be fully fleshed out. Again, it's more of an alpha than beta at the moment. You can get it set up on your machine, a bit of trickery on the front end and the back end to make that work as I've done there. But uh, that's pretty much it guys, just a super quick video to show you some of the main obvious cosmetic differences between Linux Mint 19 and Linux Mint 19.1. So cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed.